What is happening to our children? They're being confused. They're being given hormone suppressants, puberty blockers. They're being given new names in their schools without telling their parents. They're ultimately being led to be surgically transitioned. Could there be behind all of these things an ancient mystery? Even an ancient spirit, an entity from the temples of Mesopotamia. This is Jonathan Kahn. In The Return of the Gods, the latest book I've written, it reveals in full this mystery, the mystery that is changing our world, changing America, touching your life, touching people in your life. Why is it happening? Where and where is it going? What's the future? And what does it have to do with you? And what do you need to know to survive and prevail? We're giving you a taste. I spoke of the second principality of the Dark Trinity, who is called the Enchantress, but she is also the Transformer. She alters sexuality and alters gender. She says in her hymn, I am a, a woman, and then she says, I am a man. We, it, says, it says that she turns, she has the power to turn a man into a woman and a woman into a man. It says she dresses men as women, women as men. We saw that her priesthood was consisted of men dressing up as women and acting as women, and that some of them were even surgically transitioned. And, and that's when a warning comes back from Messiah Jesus. He said that when the spirit, a spirit goes back to a man or a, a vessel, a house where it had possessed it, but it was then delivered, the person was delivered, comes back, comes back worse. Well, the same with the gods, because they are spirits. When they come back, this is a repossession of America and, and the West and the world. When they come back, they come back worse. Back then, she sought only to possess her priesthood with this, the bending of gender, but now she seeks to possess an entire generation. That's why the focus is on children. Children, they are being bombarded with this confusion of gender. They're being taught, indoctrinated into the confusion of gender. Schools, teachers are telling the children that you may not be a boy, you may not be a boy, you may be a girl, telling a girl you may not be a girl, you may be, be a boy, and then working on transitioning them even when hiding it from their own parents. When the goddess spoke of, in one, one instance, in one of her inscriptions, I found that I put it in the book, she says, I am a young man. Um, a woman to a young man. Ishtar is is gen always almost always depicted as young, and so interesting. And she's the goddess who transitions people and herself. So interesting. The focus of transitioning is particularly the young. It's skyrocketed. Something that was so rare, so so rare, one out of thousands of that is now skyrocketing. Why the focus on children? Children are malleable. They're moldable. They are transitionable. The gods are always after the children. They're always after. Why is that? Because if you get the children, you get everything. Even non-believers are saying, what's happening to the children, it's madness. What would possess an adult to surgically alter a child to look like the other sex? What would possess them to have organs cut off? What would possess them? this would possess them. This spirit would possess them. Now you know. This is just a taste of the mystery that's revealed in full in the return of the gods. Return of the gods is revealing the mystery of the ancient return, the return of the ancient spirits and entities that are now, is now behind everything, transitioning America, transforming our culture, touching your life even, and people in your life. Where's it going? What's the future? What's going to happen? And what do you need to know to survive and prevail? Next time, we are going to open up the mystery of the night that the goddess manifested on the streets of New York City. Hit subscribe. You don't want to miss it. This is Jonathan Kahn. I'll see you next time with the mystery of Stonewall. From that event has come the entire movement that has altered sexuality, overturned marriage, launched thousands of parades, and the rainbow flag. It all began when the signs of the ancient goddess manifested on the streets of New York City.